In this week's Yukon project, we're going to step up our audio recordings by making this professional microphone pop filter out of this plastic container, your mom's stockings, and some things that you might already have. Now she's slanging things like a simian. For this project, you'll need the following stuff. First, you'll need a plastic container or a food container, a cutter knife, a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, a roll of chicken wire, some aquarium tubing which you can get from pet stores, a piece of spandex or some woman's stockings, and of course, my favorite, a bottle of super glue. Now let's begin. Start with a plastic container and get your cutter knife and cut the circular surface off the lid. Take your time because we want to make our project look more professional. Remove the lid and using your cutter, make a hole large enough for your scissors to pass through. Cut around the plastic until you have the top left. If your cut isn't clean, use a file to clean off the edges. Now the plastic alone looks really cheap. You can make the project look a whole lot better by spraying it with a can of black spray paint. Oops, that's not supposed to move. I got back in the house and looked for some tape to secure and fasten the plastic so that it won't fall off when I'm spraying it with a pressurized can of spray paint. Do this until you've covered the whole surface with the color that you want. Then I left it to dry under the sun. A few moments later. After the paint dried, I've covered the top edge of the lower part of the plastic container with super glue. Clean up the table because we are going to put up the cloth. Now this is the stressful part. Eventually, I found a way to pull this off alone. And that's by using my feet and my hands to stretch off the cloth while I snap together the two plastics. Stretching the cloth will prevent it from having wrinkles in the long run. It'll take around 5 minutes for the super glue to bond with the cloth and the plastic. When it's all set, use your shears or your scissors to cut off the excess pieces of cloth. This is really important because you don't want some pieces of cloth to dangle around because it could hit the mic and make some popping noises. Using your cutter, nick a small portion of the side. Next, grab your roll of chicken wire and form a hook with a similar curvature to your plastic container. Next, fit the hook that you made in between the gap of the two plastics. Grab your hot glue gun and pour the right amount of hot glue in between the crevices, making your project a whole lot stronger. Now fit the aquarium tubing on the chicken wire. And finally, cut down its other sharp end. All that's left is for you to wrap it around your microphone's tripod. And there you have it, a professional microphone pop filter that barely cost you anything. If you're wondering how it sounds, it's the exact same setup that I've used to narrate my past three videos, which includes this one. If you like my video, feel free to press the thumbs up button. Now if you want to see more of my upcoming projects, you can press the subscribe button to stay tuned. Once again, I'm Angelo. Thanks for watching. Bye. Coming up next, we're going to make a phone case that would make your phone's camera more cinematic. A few months ago, we went to Europe and I brought my project and my smartphone with me. I took a lot of pictures and clips with it. I was able to take shots I never knew I could even do before. 